Professor Stephanie Carlton is Professor of Economics and Public Policy at Stony Brook University, author of The Deficit Myth, and joins me from New York, from Satakut No in New York via Skype. Professor, um, is it a red herring, this idea that the unemployment insurance is, to, is discouraging a certain element of, of job seeker from going back into the uh, the workforce certainly anecdotally i've heard it half a dozen times here in new york well i've heard it anecdotally and i think that you know it's a little bit deceptive right because for sure i don't want to discount the credibility of some of the stories that we're hearing, some of the difficulties that employers have faced in different parts of the country uh, when it comes to trying to staff back up. Uh, I think to be sure some of that is going on. But I think that if you look closely at the data that in fact what Secretary Yellen has been talking about today is that where you see higher job growth happens to coincide with states that have relatively higher unemployment replacement rates, which is not, it's in fact the opposite of what you would expect to see if the unemployment benefits were at the root cause of the, you know, jobs numbers, the disappointing numbers that we saw today. So what do you make uh, of this, uh, this number? What, should we take much from this later set of data or is it simply too confused to extrapolate any trend? Yeah, it, we are scratching our heads. I know that as an economist, I am definitely not alone. This was a stunning report. We're all trying to make some sense of it. And, and I think that, you know, largely what I think my colleagues are doing is sort of saying this may be a one-off, a really peculiar thing that happened. It may have to do with some of the seasonal uh, adjustments and reporting. But, you know, you mentioned that you had dinner in New York City recently, and I actually spent the first night in New York City in over a year just earlier this week. And I went out to dinner. I walked down the streets. I saw lots and lots of outdoor dining. I could have walked into any one of those places and sat down. I, I did did eventually settle on one. I had a, a you know person come over immediately take my order. There were plenty of uh, workers to handle the limited capacities, you know, uh, diners that were there. So I think a lot of things are happening. I think it is definitely the case that there's some hesitancy on the part of workers to go back into a workplace that many still consider unsafe. I think the childcare issues are very real. I know many mothers with young kids who uh, are still out of the workforce because they have third graders, second graders who are home and not in school and they need to be home with them. And right. I think some of the supply chain disruptions uh, that so, Janet Yellen all raised today are, are legitimate. And, and yet at the same time, just to add to the confusion and the mists of economics, which are not always clear at the best of times, we have the market up very strongly this week, and that's on the back of it doesn't believe that interest rates are going up. But we also have a hiccup when Yellen suggests they might go up. We've got Powell looking for evidence before he'll make... A, he's looking for substantial progress. I, I'm, I'm left wondering where direction, where the direction is at the moment? Well, I think that, you know, investors got a little skittish. I think that was, uh, in a sense, understandable if you're a fixed income trader and you hear kind of rumblings or talk of a possible rate hike, then there's going to be an inevitable reaction there. But I think you know, what we saw today in this latest jobs number is just more kind of evidence that we need to listen to the Fed chairman, that he's been telling us all along the signs that he's going to be watching for, and that what we have is a very patient Fed on our hands, that they are not going to move uh, rates higher unless and until we have firm solid, ongoing evidence that the labor market is healing. And I right. think we've just got right. a slog ahead of us.